What's up guys? Welcome back to Lana Resource. Today I'm going to be back to working on the old CR gear and we're going to be trying to resolve an issue with our AC. So if you've ever done a case swap and you try to retain air conditioning, um, there's several things you have to do. Um, like you have to have a wire and a relay and stuff that um, comes with the hybrid racing conversion kit. And then uh, that usually gets the AC to where it's working. So I've been having an issue to where whenever I turn the air conditioning on, if the car's not up to temp yet, the radiator fans do not come on. And that's really not an issue too much per se, unless like I just want to crank it up and let it idle to um, like cool off the car, like if it's a hot day or something like that. Uh, once the car's up to temp, the fans cut on and it's not an issue. It goes ahead and cools, you know, blows plenty of cold air out of the vents. But otherwise it it makes too much head pressure and it's just not good for the system so today we're going to be doing a little bit of wiring and trying to get that resolved so as you see my key is on and then i've got the fan off right now but if i kick it on like the button comes on you can hear the clutch on the compressor engage but it's not engaging the outside fans uh, also here on my honda app you can see there the ac whenever i turn it on it does not show that it's on. So what this should do is integrate that to where whenever I turn this on, it tells the K-Pro that the AC is on and it's gonna turn on those fans. Those fans out there are strictly controlled by K-Pro on my application. I do not have a fan switch. Okay, and so the reason that doesn't work is because K-Series uses a multiplexer uh, which is like built into the fuse box and that's what controls all the fans and that kind of stuff to where like a old b series car or d series car so like my crv or an ek civic or uh, eg civic or i think even the s2000 they don't use the multiplexers so what we're having to do oh and also to make this successful you have to have the honda k pro v4 it only works with the v4 i believe so essentially what we're going to be doing is tying in the wire for the AC stuff into the, we're going to put in the slot for the ECU where the VTEC pressure sensor previously was, and we're going to be removing the VTEC pressure sensor and disabling it in K-Pro. So let's uh, hop to it. So what we're going to have to do is um, this one connector here, I know this looks like a train wreck here, but it's just a conversion harness is what most of this stuff is. Um, this one connector here that used to go to um, the B-Series stuff. You see I've already cut these pins. I've uh, got the red or the blue with the red stripe. We're going to be working with that one. And we're going to be working with um, one that's black with red, which is like right there. And so I just got two little pieces of wire with pins. And I stripped a little piece back. And this just came from an old ECU connector. And uh, I'm going to use these to wire into my K-Pro cables. All right, so here on the E-plug, which is the part of the conversion harness that plugs into the ECU, we need to go to E18. So we have to count across the top. The top is the side with the, the clip on it. Across the top is one through nine. And then we get to the second row and we're looking for E18. So. 10, 11, 12, and so forth until you get to 18. And then we're going to push that clip down into this. You also have to um, pop this out. I just do it with a gasket pick um, like this. Just pry up on the little spots like right there and right there. Pull it up like that. That's the only way it's going to clip in. And when we're done, we'll just push this down. All right, so E18 is here where this red wire is plugged in. You can see it's got three empty spots there from the end. So we got that pinned in, and now we just push this down back in. All right, and that's the ACC. And then the other one we're going to plug it in is the ACS air conditioning switch. All right, so we want the second connector right here. It's actually part of the engine harness. And we need the second wire, this B9, which is the second middle row, second wire. 
Let's see. And it should be a blue with a black stripe. You can see it right, right there by that red one. So we're gonna pin that one out real quick and then we'll be able to pin our other one in. Okay, so we got the VTAP pressure sensor disconnected there and we got our other one picked tailed in or pinned in rather. Now I'm just gonna tape up this right here so that it doesn't touch anything. Although it shouldn't mess up anything because it's not gonna be used in the circuit dead heads at the VTAC pressure sensor, which was already deactivated in my application. Okay, so I got that taped up. I just bent it back and then taped it back to the wire with some felt tape. If you're interested in that felt tape, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to buy some. It's an Amazon link. Let's see, connect this back. And then now we need to run our wires from this one and this one over to those two wires that were in the original B-Series connector, which are now tied into this relay. All right, so I just took two wires just from a random harness, drilled them together. That's how you get them twisted like that. Just put an end in the drill and hold the other end and it'll twist them up. All right, and then I got those tied in here, put some tape over it, soldered them, all that good kind of stuff. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape up this whole harness just so it's not exposed because I don't like harnesses exposed like that. I'd rather them be taped up or protected in some sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape those up. Okay, so I got those wires um, back exposed, cut the tape off of them, whatever, and you can see where I've soldered them. Um, this is for the AC relay. So what we gotta do now is tie our wires here into these wires. So the wire that goes over here on the B connector, the engine harness is, I tied into my blue wire here. So the blue wire will actually go to the one that's blue with the red stripe. And then when it's black, will go to this other one. that's um, black with a red stripe. Um, the wire color doesn't really matter as far as what color wires you choose. Just make sure that the one that's on the B connector goes to the blue with the red stripe. And the one that's on the E connector goes to the black with the red stripe. All right, so I got that all taped up. And uh, now I'm gonna need to get all this crap tucked back in over here and hook up the K-Pro to my laptop. And then we'll get all this stuff programmed. All right, so what you want to do is go into the K-Pro I went to, uh, <clears throat> then I went to calibration settings. It keeps disconnecting and reconnecting for whatever reason, but calibration settings and then retrieve calibration. Okay. And then, and then we're gonna go to parameters, multiplex, make sure the multiplexer is off. Okay. And then we'll go over to VTEC which is over here and you see this VTEC pressure is off. So make sure that's off. Mine was already off. Miscellaneous tab right here. And then went over here, <clears throat> selected that. Then I uploaded it using the little upload arrow right there. And then now you see, I've got my K Pro pulled up here you see the AC and whenever I turn on the thing is to turn it on and also it turns on the fans out there so heck yeah <laughs> that's awesome now we can have some ac when we first crank it up and not have to worry about it see before those fans weren't cutting on now they are sweet wouldn't have taken me too long to do this had I not um, <laughs> had some issues. Like I had, for whatever reason, my my uh, K Pro didn't want to update from the computer, so I had to restart my computer, log it onto Wi Fi, and all that kind of crap. But finally, after I did that, loaded it right up, no problem. So uh, hopefully, this helps somebody. Probably not many people with a K Swap CRV, but maybe if you have a Civic or S2000 or something like that with AC on it, this will help you out and get you on the road with some good AC. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you on another video soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace.